and stop right here. Very nice, and come to me. Right here, face me, and stay with me. Very good boy, you done very good job. So we're gonna remind him, I feel he's okay. We don't have to continue punish him. Uh, we're gonna add it right now, saddle pad, and then we're gonna start to put saddle on. But everything slowly, we're gonna graduate horse. <coughs> I'm gonna ask Slash step a little bit far away from me. In the middle of the round pen. Wake up. Right here, a little bit this direction. A little bit farther, Slash. And right here, stop. Fix your shoulders. Fix your shoulders right here and stay still. So you have distance to watch from the camera. So again, we have to walk towards the slash. Slash have to stay still. When we put saddle pad and walk away and horse have to stay still. We get no halters, not ropes, not strict in horse mental abilities. Everything nice and relaxed. We practice this for a long period of time with different methods. And we bring methods together, and that's the result we get right now. Beautiful. It's a, his second day. We saddle Pat and we saddle of his education. Right here, beautiful. We can take saddle Pat from the different sides. And put it on right here. Beautiful, now we're gonna walk away. So we're mixing all this right now. We can take a saddle pad, put saddle pad, take it away, walk away. You still have to stay still. And again, we're gonna put saddle pad on you. And he's two and a half years old stallion right now. So he's doing pretty good with his mental abilities. Very nice. And right here again. And now I'm gonna say slash, can you walk right there? Right there, to the panel. Just go to the panel. Go to the panel and face me. And please face me with front end and stay still right there. Very good. And I'm gonna say I wanna walk towards you right now and take the saddle pad away from you. And you still have to stay still and be relaxed. So horse nice and relaxed, and when I walk towards the horse and put saddle pad again, you have to still wait for me, because that's what stop and fades actually teach horse in the ramp, and patience, relaxation, confidence, wait. You're not strict in horse, by the halter, by the rope, not apply physical pressure on his chin, chin to stop, stay away from you. And said, that's great. I can walk to you, take halter, uh, saddle pad away from me. Can you come to me with a saddle pad? Come to me. Right here. You came to me, very nice. Beautiful, baby. Can you face me? I want to take a saddle pad off your back. Beautiful. That's my, that's my goal, ultimate goal to teach horses in the first time to tag them. So they mentally understand, mentally understand education. Not stricting with halter, rope, making, buck them. When they're bucking, take, using surviving instinct. So main goal, if you're gonna put very good foundation in this horse and educate horse and take your time, then for a long period of time, you're gonna spend more time, but for a long period of time, you're not gonna have issues with your horse. You will, as a human, not gonna design, not gonna create issues with your horse. But you can put saddle pad and saddle on the first day on the horse and let horse buck and get used to, to this in my, and horse gonna, will gonna refuse after put bridle and saddle and etc. So you just, 
This way we're just educating horse to use surviving instinct, not truly understand actually what's happening right now. Beautiful, and we're gonna put away saddle pad for now. See what's gonna happen right now. Walk towards the horse, straight, not hiding your eyes, not hiding your shoulders, and horse have to stay still and accept the saddle. Very nice, let him smell if he wants to smell, he wants to bite, that's okay. Gently lower the saddle on the horse, let him smell, that's okay. And remove the saddle. And remove the saddle, and put saddle again. Gently on the horse, right here, and set very good. Very nice. And remove the saddle. And now we're gonna walk towards the horse from different side and put saddle from different side. Walk towards the horse, let him smell. The horse, horse have to accept saddle from the both sides and be confident because also we're gonna mount the horse from the different sides. In the right here, let him touch, let him smell, let him bite, whatever he wants to desire to do. Right here, relax. Beautiful, very nice. It's nothing wrong to have a halter and rope on the horse when you put first time saddle. In my opinion, if you're gonna hold, if you're gonna hold the halter very tight and rope, then you're stricting your horse. But if you just put your rope around your hand just like this and let horse mentally understand that, this, uh, when you put in saddle, this develops this confidence, then it's nothing wrong for your safety to have a halter or bridle, um, I mean halter and, and uh, horsemanship rope on the horse. So now we have a saddle on the horse. Now I'm gonna say, if you remember from yesterday, slash, can you go to the panel, face me, and I'm gonna come and I'm gonna remove the saddle. I'm gonna say, can you go towards, towards the panel with the saddle. Continue traveling. And can you face me? This front end right here and stay still. Beautiful. You're gonna stay still and I'm gonna come and I'm gonna remove the saddle and you have to stay still. Beautiful. And I'm gonna put again. So I'm playing right now mental game with my horse. I can come towards you with saddle. I can put the saddle on you. You can step away from me and I can put saddle on you. So now we're gonna be a very interesting game. And that's what I truly believe, that's where the confidence comes. I'm gonna say slash. I have a saddle in my hand. I'm staying far away from you. Can you please come to me to put saddle on? And I'm gonna say. Come towards me. Come towards me. Right here. Right there, baby. Can you face me? Right here. And we're gonna put saddle. So horse mentally, come to me mentally. Come to be saddle the first time. That's the result what I wanna see. Very good job. He relax. And I'm gonna say, can I remove the saddle from you? And gonna put another side. Very good job. And again, where's the saddle? Very nice. Let him relax. So now we have, <laughs> we have confidence with him. We know how to put saddle pad. 
we know how to put Selden horse, so now we're going to start to combine and put everything together. So I'm going to say slashy. That's a saddle right here. I'm going to bring saddle pad. said, can you move your shoulder, please, right there? Not right there, right here. Okay, you want to go this way? That's fine. <laughs> what I'm trying to say, I want to move him, face him, this object, so he truly pay attention on this if it's not going to hurt him. And I'm going to say, pay attention on me right now. Pay attention to me right now. Please fix your shoulder right here. We're going to start to put saddle on you. So first of all, saddle pad. Horse relax. Now I'm going to take a saddle. And I'm going to put saddle on the horse without the fear and without upsetting the horse mentally and physically. So when horse relax like this, that's fine. I can walk behind my horse because I teach him to develop confidence. I'm going to remove my cinches. Pretend, pre uh, check is everything matching. Fix my saddle pad. Going around. But again, guys, we've done so much education and discovered philosophy methodology in round pen to educate this brain, not to fall apart emotionally and not afraid. So now I'm going to touch, touch, touch the cinch. And it's very important right now not to tie this very, very hard because it's in the first time he will, you will going to strike his chest and that's when they're going to start to buck. So it's very important. Just hold a little bit. With your, with your um, belt, this cinch, the saddle not going to slide sideways. Right here, finish your back cinch. Again, not very tight and not very loose, so if you're going to start to run, so hind leg will not going to go through. So now, he have a saddle on him with saddle pad and blanket. So I'm going to say right now, I would like to, you, travel towards the fence, towards the fence, towards the fence. Right here, beautiful. And again, face me with this saddle and stay still. So now it's very, very interesting situation what's happened. Horse actually mentally learning how to stay still and relax with this saddle. It's new for him, he's going to smell, he's going to bite, he's going to touch. That's okay. But so much education we put on this brain, these methods to accept this object on his back. Travel consistently, consistently forward motion. Stop and face me. Extend and touch. Forward motion. Stay still. With hind corners, with front end. Front legs, hind legs. Speed control. Turn inside, turn outside, walk towards you, first touch, first touch with lariat. Develop confidence behind the hindquarters, first pressure with hindquarters, first pressure with front end, develop confidence with, wool, with, with bull web and flag. And the most excited, combine everything together, mix all the steps, and transfer to enhanced communication. You already follow this first and second level. You know exactly what I'm talking about. And that's the result what we get when we put in first time saddle on the horse. So now, say for example, we're going to ask horse right now travel forward motion in the first time. And horse not understand forward motion. Not consistent, not consistent. We're going to use the whip or we're using whip. Uh, flag or throw a lasso in the horse hind course to make a horse forward. So mental ability of the horse already concentrating on the fear behind him. Plus, he have a saddle on him. So mentally, he's going to start to fall apart. Then he's going to start to bug. Then he's going to start to run. 
But if horse truly understands forward motion, walk, trot, and lope, for him it's much easier to absorb this information forward motion and accept in forward motion saddle. Again, when we're going to start to educate horse to travel in forward motion with the saddle, what we're looking for? Just to travel around? No, we're looking balance, coordination, straight line, not lean inside, not lean outside, develop confidence, balance. So all this we're looking for because we want to transfer to the first ride. We don't want to just run in, in around pen with our horse and after educate him under saddle, pull on his reins. That's not our goal. Our goal to develop the athlete. So we're going to ask horse right now, go to the left. We saddle, continue travel. Right now, nice and relaxed walk. That's what we want to see. Nothing else. We want to see how horse relax on the walk and have the saddle. Front cinch, back cinch, and etc. Very nice. Continue travel. Very good job. Continue travel. Can I push him right now? be beside the panel, ask him to turn outside. Absolutely not, because he only have to concentrate right now on this saddle, not on his balance and coordination. And I'm going to say slash. You've done a very good job. Fix your shoulders. Stop and face me. Stop and face me. And when he's going to pick up the speed a little bit and he's going to be confident, then I'm going to ask, then I'm going to start to tie the cinch a little bit more. Again, forward motion. Change direction. Very nice. Forward motion. Continue travel. Very nice. Forward motion. Nice and relax. Beautiful. Continue travel. Very nice. And I'm going to say stop. Stop right here and face. So I'm going to walk to my horse because horse already knows this. I don't have to put my eyes down and pretend. Everything we develop confidence. I'm going to say slash. Right now you walk a little bit more. You have feelings of the cinch. I'm going to little bit tie more. Just a little bit. Just a little bit more. Right here. And I'm going to ask for walk again. Continue asking for a walk. Everything you have to feel, develop feelings, develop confidence. That's what it's all about. If you want to truly have a very well trained horse with communication, that's what you're looking for. Develop confidence with your horse. Very nice. Stop and face. Stop and face, put your shoulders right there. Put your shoulders right here, very nice. Stay still and relax and change the side. Right here, continue travel, forward motion. Very nice, continue travel, forward motion. Forward motion, more energy, confused a little bit, that's okay. So we're working right now on the left and right side. Very good. So now I'm going to say slash. We're going to pick up the trot. And see what's going to happen right now with saddle. If you're going to buck, if you're going to kick. Because horse understand when we put saddle on the horse mentally, and horse understands speed control. Beautiful. So right now we're just working on this speed and said you can carry the saddle. You can, he, you can see his head raising up. I just continue practicing forward motion. Same like we practice with bridle. He have to develop confidence with that. Beautiful. Continue. And I said that's very good. That's a good job. 
right here. Stay still and relax. Why don't continue and continue and continue? Because he have to develop confidence. If I'm going to push, then I take confidence away because I punish in mental abilities. If he done a very good job right now, that's fine. We're going to increase timing in this forward motion again. Change direction. Very nice. Continue travel. Forward motion. Not face me with high end. I know you know this, but you have to travel forward motion. Continue travel. Very good board. Stay beside the panel. Right there. Turn outside. Continue travel. Beautiful. Continue travel. Very nice. Continue travel. Very nice. Continue travel. Very nice. Beautiful. Continue travel. Beautiful work. Little bit more forward motion. Very good job. Continue travel. Very nice. Little bit more. And I'm going to stop. Stop my horse, and I said, please fix yourself. More, more step right here. And I'm going to tie the cinch a little bit more. Again, walk to my horse without hiding my eyes, shoulders, and etc. Because horse know already this methods how to walk towards the horse and develop this confidence. Right here. Beautiful. And now we're going to start to practice turn inside on the trot. Not right away, pick up the lob. Pick up. So he have to, we're going to use round pen education right now to develop confidence with him to carry the saddle. Continue travel. Pick up the forward motion. Right now he's a little bit barking, that's okay. And I'm going to say stop right here, turn inside, right here. My stop and face me right now, save me. Said continue travel. Again, right here, turn inside. Pay attention on me, not on the saddle. And again, turn inside. Don't pay attention on the saddle. Pay attention on me. Very good. So right now you can see how my methods from the round pen saving horse mental abilities to pay attention on me. Where we are. And again, turn inside. Continue travel. Very good. Continue travel. Continue travel. Continue travel. Turn inside, continue travel, very good. He wants to lope, that's fine, let him lope. Beautiful, continue work, continue work, develop confidence. Now he's stretching up more, using his neck much more relaxed. Beautiful, continue lope. Now he's relaxed completely. And I'm going to say stop and stay still. Fix your shoulders and come to me. Come to me, wake up. Come to me right here again. Right here, shoulders. Come to me right here. Wake up. Come to me. Again, move your shoulder. And come towards me. Right here. You back enough? <laughs> You're a silly boy. Okay, very good. So you can see that was very amazing uh, example how horse, if horse not understand how to stop and face or change direction, he will continue bucking or even jump over the fence 
and put him in dangerous situations. So we can bring horse mentally towards us with all the steps and say, that's good, that's what we want to see. And now we're going to change sides and work on the canter. 